Hello universe, my name is Kati and I'm bipolar. <laughs> Girl, if you just farted, I swear to God. First off, I always talk about being transparent on my social media and I feel like so far I've done a fairly decent job at it. I've been really nervous to make this video. Everything on my YouTube that I've shared um, struggle-wise, I usually share it after I've already gone through it and after I've already kind of healed from it or I'm at a place where I feel like my healing is far enough along that I can share and, and talk about it from, I guess, sort of a, a logical mindset. The hard truth is that bipolar disorder isn't ever something that you really heal from. There are ways to help the symptoms and help navigate your life, but there isn't a cure for it. So for me, it almost feels inauthentic making a video talking about it when I haven't healed from it. It's like I, I'm writing a story and I'm telling a story, but I still don't know the ending of it. I know, um, especially recently, just how isolating it feels by sharing this i hope that maybe i can help myself in not feeling as alone and possibly help other people uh as well this is kind of like one of the first videos i've um haven't really had a full idea for and like normally i'll have bullet points or something kind of to keep me on track with videos but i wanted this video to be pretty authentic and just kind of come from my heart and my true feelings. I'm gonna be all over the place in this video. And bear with me or don't. I don't um, fucking know. The world is your burrito. Do what you want. <laughs> I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder about two years ago, but kind of knew that I, you know, had it or probably had it for years before that. My family history <laughs> with mental health is, um, not the best. <laughs> Pretty much genetically, I'm fucked. I was set up for failure. God was like, <laughs> sprinkle a little bit of this, sprinkle a little bit of that. That's going to be a fun one. So it was sort of like, it, it was inevitable that I was going to have something, especially bipolar, if that makes sense. When I was about 15 or 16 years old, I was misdiagnosed with depression, which is something really common in bipolar disorder, especially like so young, it's hard to be able to be like, oh, that's bipolar because I mean, a teenager is <laughs> literally the definition of bipolar. I, I don't know, I, I had signs of mania from such a young age. It's funny looking back now because it was so fucking obvious. Like my dad and I literally have an ongoing joke about how many times he would wake up at 7.30 in the morning to make his coffee and my fucking mattress would be in the hallway. Like what 15, 16 year old does that? It's normal to want to change things up, but to do it that regularly and that intensely, it's it's not normal for, I mean, for anybody. That's kind of just how, how I've always been. Very high highs and then I have low lows. I mean, you can look on my YouTube channel. It's literally, you can see my highs and my lows. I'll go, you know, two months posting videos regularly and then I'll just fucking disappear. And then I'll go again posting videos and then just disappear. It mostly affects me. Like, I don't know, I've just done so good at handling it, but man, this, this past year, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna try and sit here and self-pity. I know this year has been hard for so many fucking people for so many fucking reasons. Like, boo fucking who, I'm a white girl who has bipolar. I'm fully aware that there are bigger problems in the world and there are a lot of things that are fucked up. But as of right now, I can't control those things. Something like my mental health is something that I can try to have some control under. And this is me just kind of sharing that journey, even though it's a long ass journey and I'm only <laughs> beginning it now. So if you don't know what mania is or you don't know what it's like to be manic, lucky. <laughs> Everybody's experience is different. Don't think that just because I'm sharing my experience that's how every other single person with bipolar disorder is or you know or what they feel or what they do because this, this is just my own mind. You go through time periods where you feel 
almost invincible. When I'm uh, in a manic high, I'm so social, I'm so passionate about the things I do, I'm so into my hobbies, I barely sleep because I just want to get everything done, and it's a fun feeling. And then I come down and I'm in what people call a manic low. And a manic low can be anywhere from I'm low energy and I want to sleep all the time to something as extreme as I want to kill myself. Over the past year or so, I've gotten really good at being able to tell when I'm going into a high and when I'm going into a low so that I can prepare myself mentally, I can be more rational with my decisions, I can, you know, reach out to my girlfriend or my friends or my dad or whoever I might need for support and let them know, hey, I'm, go I'm going through this or I'm about to go through this. I'm really gonna need some extra love this next week or so. And they can give that to me. But living your life almost as if you're on a roller coaster that's never gonna end is kind of scary. <laughs> the last thing this is gonna be is another fucking white bitch crying about her mental health on fucking YouTube. I'm not saying this to invalidate anybody with depression. I know that it's a really fucking hard thing to deal with. I mean, I, I go through it in short time periods. I can't even imagine how hard it is to literally go through it through your entire life. But when I thought that I had depression, I almost felt comforted because I mean, for fuck's sake, <laughs> we're all depressed. Like, we all have so many issues, right? But with depression, they have more medicine and more of an idea of it. And with bipolar, that's not the case at all. If doctors are still trying to fully understand this mental illness, how the fuck am I supposed to fully understand it at all? I really hope that I'm not coming across as insensitive or rude or like I'm trying to one-up <laughs> my mental illness with anybody else's. It doesn't matter what the mental illness is. It is a mental illness. No matter what, it's still an illness. Just because you have like a, a broken leg and the person sitting next to you has two broken legs, it doesn't take away the fact that you still have a broken leg. That shit still hurts. It does, like there's not, I don't, I don't know, nowadays I feel like everybody's trying to one-up each other with their fucking mental illness and it's like, <laughs> weird flex, but okay. <laughs> but anyways, in my lows, it's isolating and it sucks, but even in my highs, if not as much, even more, I'm wanting to rearrange my entire house or I'm well, not sleeping and I'm just spending a whole bunch of time with friends or spending a whole bunch of time editing something or, or researching this or just, just doing these things that I know it's obvious. I know that everybody's like, mm, well, it's that time of the month again. It's not her period, it's just her mania. I don't want to speak on bipolar disorder as if it's this negative thing where you'll never get better from it and never have a normal life because honestly, yeah, it doesn't ever fully get better. And being completely transparent, I'm probably never going to have a normal life, but I've never wanted a normal life. Nowadays, people <laughs> will pay so much money and do, so, like go to the fucking extremes just so they can seem like they're different or not normal. I get it for free. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed when I know that I'm in a manic high. I always know that I'm in manic highs. If it weren't for the fact that I'm bipolar, I wouldn't be as intentional as I am with my actions and my words. The last thing I want to do is try justifying some shitty thing I do or say or that hurts somebody that I love just because I'm bipolar. Your mental health is not an excuse for your shitty actions. And I'm just, I, I believe in that so much because then what does that do? In the long run, that's not doing anything for me other than making me look even more crazy. Being bipolar doesn't have to be a negative thing. Having any type of mental illness doesn't have to be a negative thing. Even though it does put me out sometimes, I can use it to my advantage. You can learn a lot from it. You can do research from it. I've learned a hell of a lot of things just in the past couple weeks or so. That's on bipolar disorder, OCD, ADHD. I, I have all of those things. I'm like a fucking mental illness cocktail. I feel like this entire video is like, yeah, no shit, you're bipolar. <laughs> we aren't surprised. Please don't comment that. Seriously, please don't. I know it's obvious. I know it's so fucking obvious. Being bipolar isn't who I define myself 
has. It's not my only or even my my top five characteristics. Um, it's still a part of who I am and I'm going to accept it and fucking <laughs> flaunt it even if it doesn't need to be flaunted because let's be honest, you should know that that's my entire brand. <laughs> God, I can only imagine looking up my name. I thought I had throat gonorrhea. I have bipolar disorder. I took heroin-based ecstasy and almost died in San Diego. Like, oh my God. I am just a fucking riot, huh? <laughs> I've had my YouTube channel for a little over two years, I think, and the entirety of it has been so inconsistent and I know that I'm done trying to say I think I'm gonna be my consistent because I know it's not gonna happen I don't think that it won't ever happen but I know that as of right now especially with the, how this year is going it's not gonna happen I promised myself that I wouldn't post another video until I made a video like this because I feel like it is important to talk about and who the fuck am I to constantly talk about wanting to be transparent and open and share the harder things to talk about when I can't even share this. I've been off social media for a little over three months and I just wanted to uh, real quickly say to the people who noticed that I was gone, seriously, it means so much to me. Am I gonna start crying? No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. Thank you to the people who were messaging me and asking me if I'm okay. The answer is no. <laughs> I'm completely kidding. I am okay. And even if in that moment I'm not completely okay, I have faith and confidence that things will change and that it's just a bad day and not a bad life. Thanks for being on this journey. If anybody even still watches my videos, I feel like it's been so fucking long. <laughs> it's a long ass, complicated, sometimes hurtful road, but I'm happy that I've been documenting it for the past two years because it really is amazing to watch my videos personally for me and look back and, and just think about how much growth I've gone through. So future Kati, if you're watching this, Hey, I hope things are a lot better than they are right now. And um, if they aren't, then that's cool. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> but I hope that anybody struggling with anything that I talked about, if it even made sense, knows that as alone as you may feel and as isolated as things in your head may make you feel, you really aren't. And there are so many other people who feel the exact same way or very similar to that way. It's just a really scary thing to talk about. Just go easy on each other, be nice to people, and be nice to yourself. We're all in too deep of a war with ourselves for us to be at war with each other. I'm gonna wrap this video up with that. If you watch this and you struggle with anything I talked about, please share it in the comments below. Create a safe space if you want for other people to share. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask them. Um, I think that nowadays something that we all lack is the openness for communication. So please feel free to communicate with me. Please feel free to communicate with others. Encourage it and definitely encourage communication within yourself. I feel like we need that too. I forgot the outro to my videos, so uh, social media links down, down there. Doing great. <laughs> Remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. And now you're making a scene with me up on your silver screen. And this is what they mean when they say you shouldn't be with me